Welcome back to NOS Performance Keys to the Race with Kyle Busch, sitting here in the trophy room of Kyle Busch Motorsports. I'm Buzz Cutler, talking about Martinsville. Yeah. And I remember it might have been earlier this spring at a media availability, media availability, you said, I'm getting better there, guys, I'm getting better. Which you are. I mean, you led, what, over 150 laps yeah, last like time that. out? So what is it that you're doing without giving away Denny's trade secrets? What are, is it that you're doing differently in order to be able to get your, your, your way around Martinsville a little bit better? Uh, I'm talking to Denny a lot more. You know, <laughs> that's, uh, that's a big key to there. Um, he's got that place figured out, man. He knows it uh, better than the back of his hand, you know. So um, certainly it's a place that uh, it's been tricky for me the few, first few years going there, but since learning off of Denny and being able to use some of his knowledge there, we've gotten a lot better and uh, led a lot of laps there in the spring race there this year. Had a shot to win. Uh, towards the end of the race, I got a little bit too loose and just couldn't get the drive off the corners that I wanted But um, for the first 20 laps. But then, again, my car seems to be better in the long run. You know, I get that rhythm thing going and um, kind of knocked back a couple few places. Uh, finished third, I think it was. So um, certainly getting better there. Uh, Goodyear did do a tire test there here in the last couple months. and. Um, Hoping they didn't screw it up for me. <laughs> yeah. Do you feel like you're on the verge? Do you feel like you're on the verge of that breakthrough, that that breakthrough victory at Martinsville? I, I am, man. I, I hope so. You know, it's kind of like Michigan. You know, you run there, you run good there so many times in a row, and it's bound and determined you're going to figure out how to win there. You know, so uh, I feel like we have been really good there the last few times. I, I really want to win at Martinsville. I want to take home that clock and uh, bring it back to Joe Gibbs Racing. You know, and so uh, for us to do that, it's it's going to take uh, some of the same things we've done there in the past and determining what kind of tire Goodyear brings in practice and seeing what all we can learn with it. You know, you get a, you get up a, a fair amount of speed on those straightaways, just a low way down when you yeah. get into the corners. How do you um, sort of nurse your brakes and balance your brakes as you go without sort of becoming hesitant? You know, the biggest thing, I guess, is just being able to know where you're at and how hard you're using the brakes. You know, you can run through the race and you can be pushing really hard or you can kind of feel yourself not pushing so hard. So where are you exactly? You know, are you running 100 percent? Are you running 70 percent? And that's kind of the key because one of the things that I've tend to try to do is um, not use as much brake as I used to. There, um, I used to just murder the brakes, and you know, I, I don't. I would struggle because of that. Uh, and more recently, I've kind of backed off that a little bit, just trying to figure out how to save my brakes a little bit more and keep my car more consistent throughout a run and throughout the whole race. Um, and being able to do that has really helped me. So brakes are key. Uh, keeping that rear gear under you, not overheating the rear gear is a part of the crew guys is determining you know, how many fans to run to the rear end cooler. Um, making sure you don't uh, knock in your nose too much and, and knock your radiator opening smaller or something like that. So certainly um, you know, running there in the springtime and the fall time, you know, it's a good thing we're not there in the summer. Yeah, and I guess the better you're handling, the less brake you need to use. That's true too. You know, if you're struggling with your car and you're really like, if you're really loose in and tight in the center, you know, that's the worst thing you want at Martinsville because you're using the brakes to slow down so you're not loose in, then you're still on the brakes through the center of the corner trying to get the car slow down so the front end will bite and turn. So when you're when you're battling that, man, it, it's a it's a tough one. And and it's a track where where track position is just key. I mean, you can't pass. It's short track. It's it's certainly difficult to pass. I'll say that you you can pass you there. You can right. Uh, you can pass. I probably so can. some guys, you know, you got to move them out of the way. <laughs> Other guys, you know, on restarts, you can go to their outside while the bottom kind of jumbles up a little bit. So. Uh, there's some aspects there that you just always got to be conscious of and work through and, and, and remember from the last time being there. Does the etiquette change uh, at a Martinsville compared to a downforce track? Do people, do, do guys say, okay, well, I'm going to get moved out of the way here and that's okay because it's Martinsville? Uh, some guys are okay with it, other guys are not, you <laughs> know, it kind of depends. Uh, for, for me, you know, I, I know you're going to get it moved out of the way. So if you can keep your car fast entry and center, they're not going to get to you, you know, you'll, you shouldn't, you shouldn't have that problem. but. Um, you know, sometimes you, you'll, uh, you'll dive bomb somebody getting in the corner and they'll either give you room or they won't and you'll get in there too hot and your brakes are wore out and, you know, your tires are wore out and you'll slide into them and they'll be mad at you and they'll do the same thing back to you, you know, so it's just a matter of uh, knowing when you pass somebody, if you're really faster than them, do it, you know, rough them up a little bit. But if you're only a little bit faster than them and can only catch them a corner here or there, I wouldn't worry about passing them too much because they're going to run back over you. Right, it, it's the run part of the bump and run that yeah. you got to you got to make sure you have. All right, that's Kyle Bush poised to bring home that uh, that grandfather clock for Martinsville. Thanks for watching Nas Performance Keys to the Race.
rowdy.com. Say it like it is. Say what like it is. Rowdy.com. Rowdy.com.